Well, now at 6, the nation's oldest park is getting an upgrade. The city revealing plans to renovate the Boston Common. That project includes new tennis courts, playgrounds, and even a dog park. WBZ's Courtney Cole is in Boston tonight with the details. From a utilitarian landscape. Where people brought their cows. To a space that supports civic activities and social movements. To now a leisure park and one that supports a lot of civic activities and social movements. Boston Common has quite literally withstood the test of time. But friends of Public Garden and the city of Boston don't want it to necessarily look that way. What we don't want to hear in the future, which we do hear sometimes today, is that the Public Garden is so beautiful when you cross Charles Street, I don't know, Boston Common. That needs to change. The park receives 7 million visitors every year, so the Friends of Public Garden and the City of Boston's Parks and Recreation Department created a 362-page plan to revamp it over a 10-year period. Eber Lisbon Delgado, a local tour guide, tells me he loves the common just the way it is, but would also like to see other parts of town also receive the same type of attention. Bullville Avenue definitely is attention. I'm not old enough to know that, but I've met many people from Boston and the feedback that I get from Blue Hill Avenue is that it was a beautiful avenue. It was used to film movies. Nowadays they wouldn't. Luke and Bertie, who walk the common every day, believe any type of investment should be equitable. You know, while I think it's nice to focus maybe on a heavily utilized park, I think it should be you know, spread throughout the various parts. My, my organization believes that we need to lift up all of the voices and all of the votes so that we fight every year for this, the city, the Parks Department budget because it's really important that we don't divide and conquer, that we don't say our neighborhood is more important than your neighborhood. So I Right now, the city has $23 million to put toward the project, but Boston Parks and Recreation told me they know that's not enough to get everything done in the plan. So via email, they told me in part that the goal is to leverage that money throughout the improvements through the capital budgeting process and other fundraising options to meet the financial need. In Boston Common, I'm Courtney Cole for WBZ News.